Are you still using dummy measures in your Power BI visuals? Or you want to add more information, but you don't have the space required? There's a hidden feature in Power BI that 99% of users completely ignore. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to use it to create clean, professional reports that reveal detailed insights on Hover. Let's dive in. Here's the common Power BI challenge. Often, we have to use dummy measures to show the information we want. Look at this bar chart. I've got dummy measures creating the space before and after the bars, so I can add arrows for the trends on the left and values on the right. By the way, if you want to learn how to create this exact visual, I've added the link to the video in the description box below. The layout looks great, but there is one big problem. When users hover over the visual, the default tooltip shows all the measures, including those dummy measures that are just there for spacing. Nobody wants to see meaningless dummy values cluttering their tooltips. But what if I told you there is a perfect solution? Meet tooltip pages. Instead of showing confusing default tooltips with irrelevant dummy values, you can create a custom tooltip that shows exactly what your users need to see. Watch this transformation happen. Let me show you how you can build this step by step. First, create a new page and in the page information, change the type to tooltip. Now add a new card visual. This is where your detailed information will live. Add the information required. For this exercise, I will use sales, orders, and quantity. Here's where the magic happens. Turn off the category labels, as you don't need them cluttering your tooltip. Next, increase the callout values transparency to 100% and hide them. Now, add reference label for each measure. They will be the measures themselves, and you need to use them like this so that you can have the title on the left and the value on the right, mimicking the default tooltips. After that, format font and color for the title and value to make them pop. Change the titles to custom for the reference labels, and this way you will have complete control. Background, gone. Remove it entirely. And finally, change the divider color to match the background, essentially making it invisible. The last formatting step, remove all cards formatting to create that clean, seamless look. Size matters. The page size needs to be at least 10 pixels larger than your visual. This prevents any cutoff issues when the tooltip appears. Now, for the final step, select the visual you want to enhance, go to properties, Scroll to Tooltip, and instead of Auto, select your custom Tooltip page. The result? Look at that. No more dummy measure values cluttering the tooltip. Just clean, relevant information that actually helps your users. This is how tooltips should work. But wait, there's more. Let me show you variation number two, and this one, it's even easier to set up. I'm just copying this beautiful line chart with gradient from the first page. Then, same process, I'm making sure the tooltip page size is exactly 10 pixels higher than the visual, and just like that, we have a stunning line chart tooltip. Hover over any data point, and just like that, you have detailed trend information at your fingertip. And if you want to know how to create this exact visual, I have the video for you. I'll put a link in the description box below. Now let me blow your mind with variation number three. What if you could use an entire page as a tooltip? I'm duplicating the main page, setting it as a tooltip page and connecting it. This is next level functionality. Imagine hovering over a summary metric and seeing a complete detailed breakdown. Your users will think that you're a Power BI wizard. Here's why tooltip pages solve dummy measures problem. First, clean tooltips that show only relevant information, not spacing dummy measures. Second, you can still use dummy measures for perfect visual layout without tooltip pollution. Third, professional user experience. Users see meaningful data whenever they hover. 
fourth, complete control over what information appears in the tooltips. Before we wrap up, here are my top three pro tips. Tip number one, always make your tooltip page at least 10 pixels larger than your visual. Trust me on this one, white space matters. Tip number two, use tooltip pages whenever you have dummy measures for layout. It's the perfect solution for the tooltip pollution problem. Tip number three, test your tooltip on different screen sizes. What looks good on your monitor might not work everywhere. So there you have it. The hidden Power BI feature that will transform your reports from cluttered messages into professional interactive dashboards. Tooltip pages aren't just a nice to have features. They are essential for creating reports that truly serve your users. And speaking of making your reports more professional, watch this video on how to create custom navigation menus in Power BI reports. You don't want to miss that one. If this video helped you level up your Power BI game, smash that like button and subscribe for more Power BI secrets. This is Terian signing off. Until next time, cheerio!